this is Felty from vidyen.com. This is the how to install the one Post postback tutorial. Um, I was asked twice by users, um, so I bet before, I guess before a third time, I, I went ahead and make, I'm going to make a video tutorial how to set this up so that um, kind of explain what you're doing as far as getting this configured. Uh, it's a little bit more, well, I wouldn't say a little bit more complicated than AdSend, but it, the, a lot of people want to use one ads because it's, um, I guess, more flexible than AdSense and less strict as far as the application process. Uh, and they're also a little bit more friendly to the Spanish-speaking um, users and countries that are actually from Spain. So if you're in, if you're in a, uh, a region or country that speaks Spanish, it's uh, they're, they're, they, they definitely have uh, ads and surveys that will work out for you. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the process. So. Um, pretty much all you need to do is, you know, of course you got to set up for one ads and then also download the um, plugin, the vidian.com account. We'll show that we don't really need to show you how to download a plugin. You're probably familiar with that. Um, so basically you need to create an app, um, give it a name. Um, there's two things. This confuses a lot of users. There's the postback URL and the app URL. Unlike AdSense where there's one page, there is a... Um, a basically app which is where the offer wall is and the postback is where the postback uh, talks to the one ad server which is completely different and you don't want your users actually to see it so don't link it on your front page <laughs> um, I mean they can look at it but it's not terrible it's just it's it's only for the one ads uh, automated server so make sure you got that set up give your point name and you as far as like setting configuration of the point system um, it's set here and not in the VIP system. You basically say, well, I want a thousand points for a, a, a dollar. So if they do a, a server that w gives them a hundred points, then you earn 10 cents. So like that. I also do a currency round uh, two, so you don't get like 600.5 points. And then your API keys are over here. Um, so let's go in and go to the WordPress side. Uh, once you save that, you just make sure, this is where you get your API keys, by the way. We'll show you that in a bit. So let's go back here, uh, switch that off uh, and all right so you want to make two pages I had a third here because I have a referral link but you don't need that unless you want to give your referral out to people chances are if they're using WordPress uh, they'll need mine uh, so there's the one ads and one ads post back uh, let's just look at the one ads the one ads is just basically vips it's a short code vips dash one ads and your API key that was found on the page we saw before um, and it literally just shows this page and this page is your you know just like you were in any of your WordPress sites on using the VIP system they click on this and they get their points um, I'm not gonna walk you through <laughs> doing a survey but that's basically the idea now the complicated part is that you need a second page and we'll call this the postback page and you can call this whatever you want is when you show it to the one ads on the previous section this is the URL you have to give to them um, and basically you have the vips dash one ads dash postback output ID that is the um, that is hold on a second, that is your um, your point so you can find that in your point list um, here's all the points I use point ID because I made a one ads point you can actually pull it all into one point but I generally keep it separate just because sometimes like add send points and point hive and everything else was different set amount of points so uh that's up to you how you want to handle it um let's go back uh oh geez uh let's one second i am not going to be tolerant of this <laughs> so i just did the video twice and i'm not going to do it a second time all right so all right there we go and then your secret key this is also found on the api um, that's pretty much you want to hide that from your users <laughs> at all costs. Uh, doesn't break the site if they steal because there's other things that they, they do for security, but keep that secret. And now this is the part that confuses a lot of people. Um, when you look at this page, you get this thing, error signature doesn't match. And this is important. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to look to anyone looking at this other than one ads. You'll get an error signature doesn't match. That's the message they're expecting if the key doesn't work. Um, so let's talk about what else you have to do because you notice this page has nothing on it. Um, that is because you have to turn on the one ads postback template here over on the side. I think it's found under uh, page attributes under 5.03. Uh, oh, you cannot see that one. I'm going to drag my. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There we go. So um, uh, you can see it there. So it's one ends by default. Like, I think default on every 
page under document its default template but on this I put a template in here um, called the one adds post back template the reason for this is that this has to exactly have nothing but this message in the source code because they're doing a curl post that probably doesn't make sense to you because you're not technical but basically it does a request to the server and and um, that it does this if there's any other HTML it'll mess up also that when it works it'll give a message as dupe or okay um, that's what they're expecting and that's pretty much it so hopefully that explains that and, and if you have any questions join the Vidian uh, just go to vidian.com join the discord just in the contact and hopefully that explains how to install it <laughs> but if not give us a shout out maybe we'll just redo the video later thank you bye